In this video, I am going to show you how to search a palindrome from word, phrase or sentence using C programming language. At first, let me tell you what palindrome is. A palindrome is a word, phrase or sentence that can read from the same way either forward or backward. For example, you can see noon is a word. If you read this word from left to right it is noon and if you read this word from right to left it is still noon so this is an example of palindrome and let me show you another example which is a phrase and a palindrome to tape on no pets so if you read this phrase from left to right it is step on no pets and if you read this phrase from right to left then it is still step on no pets so this is called palindrome and now i will start my code at first uh, i will include the necessary header files Now I will start my main program. I will take a character array called letter and the length of my array is 80. I will take some integer variable tag and I will use this tag variable uh, to indicate the number of characters assigned to the character array letter and another integer variable count and this integer variable will be used as an indexed index when moving forward through the letter because I will actually uh, demonstrate or you can say search from the input to check that whether the word or phrase or sentence is a palindrome or not so in that case I will use this integer and after that I will use another integer count back and then flag and I will use this flag integer to indicate a true and false condition one will indicate that a palindrome has been found and the zero means that this word or phrase is, is not a palindrome and at last I will take another integer variable loop and I will initialize it to 1 that means it is always true I will uh, use this loop integer to write a while loop at first I will take a while loop and the condition is loop that means this while loop will continue or you can say this while loop will not uh, terminate until you use some kind of uh, condition to terminate it so after that I will initialize the flag to 1 that means a true condition and then I will write please enter a text <coughs> So at first uh, I will try to read the whole text and I will find the length of that particular text and then I will search the text and at last I will show that it is a palindrome or not. To read the text and find the length I will use a for loop for it is equal to zero. letter count get char not equals to 
slash n plus plus count so using this for loop i can read the input text and find the length of that particular text and as you all know that maybe all you all of you know that this get curve library function returns a character that is entered from the keyboard so i hope uh, this for loop is uh, easy to understand for you now and then i will use a conditional statement to terminate the loop once we don't need to use this program anymore so what i will do is <coughs> to upper letter 0 equals to e let me copy the code and at the same time to upper letter 1 is equal to n and to upper letter 2 is equal to d then break basically if um, i think you can understand from here that is if you enter end then this while loop will terminate and i use this two upper library function here just because this two upper returns the uppercase equivalent of its argument so if you use small case end the while loop will terminate or if you use all the uppercase end then it is okay just to do that i use the two upper library functions so after that this is the main part of my program that is once i have the length of the input then i will assign it to tag and then i will do a search to the input text and find that it is a palindrome or not so the main logic of my search is i will compare the first value of my character array to the last one and then if it is similar then i will go to the next one that means the second variable of the array and i will compare that compare that variable to the second last one and if it is okay then i will go to the third and i will continue it until i come to the middle and once it is okay then i will say okay it is a palindrome and if it is not okay then i will say the i, I will uh, give the value zero to this flag and in this way i can tell that uh, the input text is not a palindrome so let me write the code here <coughs> count is equal to zero comma count back is equal to tag and i will continue this search <coughs> sorry up to the middle that means tag by two plus plus count comma minus minus count back and inside this for loop if letter count is not is equal to letter count back then flag is equal to zero that means the input text is not a palindrome and we don't need to uh, continue the search so we'll use a break then <coughs> so this is the main portion of our program and after that we'll display the message to everyone so for count is equal to zero 
count is less than equal to tag plus plus count and we will use library function put char to display the message if flag then we will print f will print is a palindrome the inserted text or phrase is a palindrome and else we will print is not a palindrome so basically this is all about uh, our program so I hope uh, it is easy to understand so just uh, run your program once you run your program then just insert a text or a word n double o n and you can see noon is a palindrome please enter a text oh they come into the same line so in order to show them in a different line i need to use a slash n here again run your program <coughs> Something is wrong with my program now. Okay. Okay, now it is okay. Just insert a text. And you can see noon is a palindrome. Just insert something which is not a palindrome. Deep. Deep is not a palindrome. And just uh, insert or write end. And you can see your program just stop and in this way you can search a palindrome from the input text and uh, you can show that it is a palindrome or not thank you for watching the video